over the weekend um, broke when? Uh, when did this break? Wednesday uh, on ABS CBN, if I'm not mistaken? Uh, I heard about it Thursday. Mm-hmm. It was mm-hmm. Thursday morning Thursday that morning we, we first about talked it. about it here on the show. Mm-hmm. So it was around Wednesday right. uh, afternoon where we heard about it. And we're not um, attempting to be news journalists, investigators, or any of these things. It's just these stories find a way uh, towards us. Mm-hmm. Um, I uh, I read it off uh, an interview from uh, Karina Sanchez, and all of a sudden we have uh, many of the parties involved in this issue contacting this show. And for the next few minutes, we're going to pretend that we're journalists. Yes? <laughs> it's my dream. A little bit. Let's give it a try. <laughs> okay. Susie, who do we have on the phone? Intro. Uh, should we get a WWE intro song for her? No. Or, no. 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 I thought you were going right. to be serious. Um, Mo <laughs> Twister. Sorry, sorry, sorry. All right, let's go. go. If anything. It's a fight, though. That's why. I thought maybe some WWE like intro song is, is in order. Okay. <laughs> All right, intro okay, it for us. Here we Come go. On, what's going on? Um, on the phone, we got um, Mrs. Tony Gonzalez is talking to her off air. Sounds so nice. Uh, she's the mother of, of the boy from CSA who. Um, <clears throat> yes? Hi. Yeah. Um, Mrs. Brandish. Gonzalez? Yes, uh, good morning. Good morning, um, ma'am. Is, yes, good morning. Me, uh, Mo, and Susie. Um, before anything, please, I would just like to clarify uh-huh. no, mm-hmm. that um, there were two boys okay. who, who did wrong to my son because, unfortunately, last week there was a miscommunication, so it led to another incident in school. Oh, wow. So I, I would just like to clarify that one boy was the poker and one boy was the one who who called my son a uh, a very nasty mm-hmm. the uh, one that yes. starts with a c yes yes the yes. one that starts with a c yes because i do not want to be um no. accused of not telling the whole the truth whole story. okay mm-hmm. yes. very well very well mm-hmm. thank you now uh did Tita, we'll call you Tita, just because you know yes. we're trying to make it less formal here. Even yes. though we want to make sure that uh, we get some factual information out on the show. Um, when, when, again, for the record, though, when did this whole thing occur? It was uh, it was quite uh, quite a few weeks back, yes. Yes, since August thirty. Mm-hmm. That was a Thursday morning. Mm-hmm. And on by August thirty, how many weeks, days, months, maybe even years? I don't know. Were mm-hmm. these two boys picking on your son? Oh, um, you know, my son was just able to bring it out um, this morning in another interview that the one boy, the poker, um, has been doing it since July. Okay. So, and the other boy is his um, close friend, apparently. So, mm-hmm. um, uh, I, I don't know more details because sometimes it's so hard for, for our son to really... You know, open up, yes. especially about things like this. So, but fortunately, through through these um, interviews and mm-hmm. and and talks with the media, that he, he's he's becoming more um, open, open right. because we have to get the truth out. Mm-hmm. That's right. Yes. Now, when did you hear about the gun incident and, and, you know, the alleged at this point, I guess, incident where the father of one of, of, one of the two uh, poking boys uh, put a gun to your son's head? Uh, when did that happen? Like, or how much time passed between that moment and when you found out? Actually, it was the same morning when they called me up. The school called me up, mm-hmm. the head teacher, and she told me to come into the school because an unfortunate incident happened. Okay. And but they didn't want to divulge the details, the details. Okay. in over the telephone. Mm-hmm. So I had to go there after a few minutes, and and fortunately, I just live very nearby from the school. And um, at first, unfortunately, what they focused on is what my son did. Mm-hmm. As a matter of fact, wow. you know, I, I took down the phone. I mean, I took down on my phone immediately the boy that my, my the boy's name, you uh-huh. know, I said, oh, oh, definitely I'm going to apologize. And then I was oh. also thinking to myself, you know, there must have been something else because, Why would you he know, um, the, 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 mm-hmm. my son will not just 
do the, uh-huh. these things. And, and But I was still so, so ready to apologize to these, um, to these boys and to these boys' parents. Mm-hmm. So, and then later on, much, much later on, later um, the, the two teachers that were speaking to me look at each other and they say, Mom, actually there's something more. <laughs> and then they... And then they they uh, they look at mm-hmm. me and say, uh, the father of the second boy came here. And then, so in my head, I was thinking right away, oh. Um, and I verbalized it. I said, oh, were there, was there an exchange of, you know, reprimanding and mm-hmm. all? And then they said, yes, unfortunately. And then they look at each other again and, and, and say, and <laughs> sort of nod at each other and mm-hmm. say, um, okay, um, actually, mom, there's more. So, meaning they, they just kept giving me bits and pieces. Right. And, and even... So run around. So they were like, hesitant to, to tell you. Yes. Oh. Um, and then, um, uh, and then they told me about the gun. But at that point, I was already so shaken and Mm-mm. really, you know, I, I, my stomach, my stomach feeling was, I, I can't even describe the mm-hmm. feeling. Uh, you know, I don't know if I was going to throw Dita, up or going to cry or, or, or what. Mm-hmm. And Dita, then if I may, on, though... I, I, w- if I may interrupt, Dita, just for a little yes, bit here. Okay, so yes. the gun came out. They told you about it. I want to know, and I think it, there's a, there are a few um, details in this story that I think bother us uh, DJs, at least uh, for our show. And you correct me, Mia or Susie, if I'm wrong about how we feel about this. There are a few details that bother us most. It, first of all, definitely number one is a parent came with a gun to a school um, and pointed it at a student. That That's horrible. But number two is... The school's reaction towards it, whether it be suspensions, um, rep- you know, people getting reprimanded, mm-hmm. uh, not checking for these things. Uh, did the school punish your child alone or did all everybody get in trouble? What kind of trouble was that? And um, are they now being distant, uh, distant from each other? Like you're no longer, that son is pulled from that class or, you know, these boys are no longer allowed to be in the vicinity of each other. I mean, what is the response of the school? Because that's also a big worry because there are a lot of parents listening to this show going, my, my kid goes to that school. Yes, sir, sure, there's the whole gun thing happened, but what did the school do about it? Yes, and for, um, I would also like to clarify, no, yes, they did get penalties, no, mm-hmm. all of them got, oh, okay. um, suspension, but unfortunately, uh, it, that is where we are really unclear, especially myself, no, because, um, the next day, the two boys were able to go to school. Mm-hmm. So that is my, that was my constant question to, to the administration, that why were the boys the allowed. two boys allowed to go uh-huh. to school. Mm-hmm. And then, well, they said that it was a mistake on the boys' part. And when when they saw that the two boys were there after, I don't know how long, they were sent home. But again, the two boys went to school the next week, meaning, because um, it happened Thursday, mm-hmm. by Tuesday they were already in school taking, because it was exam week. Uh-uh. So they were able to take the exam already, whereas my son, Jamie, was not allowed to go to school until Thursday. Mm. So, so he had a longer suspension. Uh, yes, yeah. I, I thought it was all equal from mm-hmm. my understanding because I also kept clarifying several times. Mm-hmm. And then they said, oh, they all get a D in, in conduct. But I thought even the suspension was, you know, supposed to be equal and they told me oh, right right yes and now, now, Susie, I, uh, sorry, I think that's all. Sorry, so Susie or Mia, one of you guys brought up earlier that the response of the other boys uh, was, was that that your son, Tita, in fact, was the bully. Um, what is your reaction to that? Or are there any statements amongst teachers, uh, you know, any other faculty that can say, oh, yeah, it's actually your son that's the bully in all of this, validating their story? Um, oh, do you want me to read the tweets, Mo? Sure, why not? Okay, uh, so the brother of, of, I don't know if he was the brother of the poker or the brother of the name caller says, I think any <laughs> parent... The poker is just a great name. Yes, I think so too. Any Sorry, parent will get mad if your son gets punched in the face for no reason. Um, a friend of, of 
when, uh, either the poker or the name caller says the story was twisted. He wasn't bullied. He effing punched two people. Um, another person who's close to, to the boys are saying that the, the story that ABS came out with was one-sided and um, that the violence, apparently, um, Tita, what they're saying is it started with, with your son. Definitely not, because mm-hmm. I have, um, fortunately, there are some boys who are not threatened uh-huh. by these, especially the one boy, um, and they are willing to um, voice out that my okay. son, mm-hmm. and even people around the school, meaning not of his class room, mm-hmm. even um, people outside of his class right. um, who, 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 who will vouch for my son's um, being a, mm-hmm. a happy, gentle giant. You know, um, I would like to really stress that my boy is six four, big and beefy. Mm-hmm. And if he really wanted to do harm or uh-huh. hurt these two boys, mm-hmm. he could have. But he was restraining himself. And I am not or never going to condone um, violence or physical um, reactions to, to solve a problem. But, mm-hmm. you know, he was trying to stress a point. And for me, he said no many times to this now, boy. Tita- Okay, okay, Tita, your your son's a big boy. Yeah, six yes. four. I, I'm, I'm yes. assuming over two hundred. Um, is he? Has he been the type throughout his life? Uh, has he been the type to be a target for bullying, or yes, has he had a history unfortunately, of? Unfortunately, it's really okay. quite the opposite because I we really uh, let him grow up with my husband thinking that you know we're. God fearing, and we tell him that God gave you this gift, you know, mm-hmm. height and 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 uh, build, not not to bully, and you know, it's to help people. As a matter of fact, his friends are the ones who are the ones who are um, how do you say? Um, not the ones the siga siga. I was telling one of the uh, one of the people that interviewed. As the other night, I said, you look at my son. I mean, technically, he can be um, the bully, right. meaning he, he can uh, he has he has looks and he has the build, but but he, he he his friends are like the strays, or because he knows that um, uh, when he has a big heart. So for me, sure. for those people to say that, it's like grasping at straws. So. And, and definitely, right. uh, they are the ones who who have been really picking on him, and you know, being the Fair newbie enough. and being with with um, other boys that are not to their liking. Okay, Tita, one, I, I just got to throw in one last question, and then maybe the girls have some here. Uh, we know how the father reacted. Uh, the other, the, let's just call him the wet poker because the poker just—it sounds like it sounds a little bit more respectable. Wet poker, I like, is kind of cool. Um, the guy who was poking the wet of your son. Uh, we know what his father, how his father responded. How did uh, your son's uh, dad respond? Is he around? Uh, I mean, I don't want to say your husband. It could be anybody, but uh, the father of your son. Uh, what was his reaction to the whole gun incident? Oh, of course, we were all shocked. And sorry, Mo, I just have to clarify again that the poker is uh, separate from the boy who... But the boy, oh, his was father. In, it was the two separate boys. Name caller's oh. dad. Yeah, the cool. boy was oh, the one who called my son a C. Uh-huh. Yes, okay. Yes. okay. And, okay. Mm-hmm. and mm-hmm. unfortunately, that boy also um, uh, kept... Uh, after, Right after he was punched, he also kept saying, I'm going to kill you, I'm going to shoot you, I'm going to, you know. Um, and unfortunately, the, you know, I, I hope that the one witness, aside from the other boy, mm-hmm. is from, from what my son Jamie remembers is a girl. And I hope she finds it in her heart so to really come out with the truth. In, right. in saying, because unfortunately, I think that girl is a friend of those two boys, especially of of the of the boy with the father. Okay, the well, 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 how did but but how did how did your son's father though react to this? Did he? I mean, I'm sure outrage, surprise, but 
did, did he maybe even flirt with the idea of, uh, you know, of doing something oh, no, uh, like the other boy's father not, did? Definitely not. As a matter of fact, we, we gave the administration several days, almost a week, mm -hmm. because we were like, okay, we're going to respect the authority of the school, right. and I know that our son is going to be taken care of. And, and and also on our part, we're, we're very God-fearing and God-trusting. So in, in the beginning, we were both, oh, maybe, you know, um, everything really is in God's hands. But mm -hmm. we finally decided that uh, we cannot keep quiet about this. If not the message that we are sending to the both the children of the school and the parents of the school, that oh, right. who, whoever right. gets hurt, it's oh. all right to to take vengeance into your own hands. And, right. It, yeah, it's not even just the message, see, that with all due worse. respect to your... Then do right, but it's not just the message. It's also the safety of the children, the other safety of the other children there. If I mean, yes, if, exactly. if this the, story the never makes it to the other children. parents... Right, okay, let me ask you, why is your son still going to school there? Why didn't you pull him out immediately if it's in an environment where a gun can be poked at his head any given day of the week at any given school year? I mean, if this things, if these things can happen in that campus and has happened in that campus to your son, why does your son continue to go to school there? We are still hoping and praying, Mo, that the school will really take every precaution they can to protect our son no and and of course we're also concerned because he is also a fourth year in graduating boy and if we also give in uh, uh, like now we feel that if if we stop him from 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 going there then definitely they will be extra emboldened and empowered that oh what what that father was justified as a matter of fact um some uh friends of those of the well i don't know if it's, if the friends of two boys and that one boy was is so emboldened that he is not afraid or they are not afraid to threaten my son in front of you know authorities uh -huh. or, or faculty or sure. or other students sure. anymore because they see unfortunately nothing was done yet to 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 the father right. with the with well, the gun. We, we see that we see that often in sometimes in our own political system where you can uh, impose fear on someone via you know arms and and, and violence and stuff them, like that. Right. Uh, Right. Tita, we're going to have to wrap it up a little bit. Girls, you have any questions? Sorry, I hogged this one up. Do you have any other questions you might want to ask her before we let her go? I'm just... I'm still in shock, and um, I guess I just want to ask, like, um, I know that this happened, um, like, a little over, uh, almost a month ago. How are the kids treating him now? Not just uh, the two bullies, but how about the other the other kids in school? Well, fortunately, some, some children are, are very, very... Um, supportive and right. and really just cheering him up and you know giving him moral support but of course that will never disappear that there are those unfortunately evil ones and you know they you know like one of them even said what oh what the father did was good and just wow. and you know I was like oh wow you see how twisted their thinking is already yes. because mm -hmm it wasn't taken care of or it wasn't addressed so here are these kids thinking that yes it is all right and it was justified for this father to do these things to my son to be slapped to be shoved and in front of faculty and and most of all to to bring a body bodyguard or supposedly driver with mm -hmm. a with a gun i mean it's it's not that hey um you know, I I brought out the gun. Sorry, joke only. <laughs> I mean, right, uh -uh. right. Yeah, it's Tita, the but Listen, we we all we're all gonna we're all gonna parent our children a different way. You know, uh, some are gonna be bad, some are gonna be good, some are gonna make different decisions. I'll just tell you, if it was my child, if my child was your son, he's not spending another day at that school. Yes, uh, to, to be 100% exactly. honest. Uh, exactly. I don't care if he's fourth year. I don't care what kind of support system or what kind of faith you have in the system that they're going to do something about it. If a kid, my kid, gets a gun to his head uh, for, for reacting towards uh, weeks and weeks and weeks or months of uh, you know being Boy. treated that way, and then he's going to get a gun to the head, he's not going there for an, another day.
And and that's I don't know if you want to take that as advice, but that was definitely my opinion. And I'm not going to tell you how to treat your kid. Um, but man, that, that that cannot be tolerated. He cannot be at that school anymore, um, especially if those two boys and their mouths and their aggression and their, you you said that they're emboldened by this. Uh, if those kids are there, there's no way in hell my kid's gonna continue to, to go to that school. And, and we're all we all have a different opinion about it, but that's uh, that's wild. You know, uh, it's it's it almost sounds to me like some sort of lawlessness going over there that you find in. Uh, in combative uh, countries, you know, I mean, it's 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 wild to me, Pita, yeah. to be honest. Thank you. All right, um, we want to thank you for the time and and uh, for sharing uh, another angle uh, of, of the story here. We tried getting uh, those boys on the show earlier today. Unfortunately, uh, we didn't get a response from them anymore. Um, but, uh, you know, I guess, this, you know, the, we have to say that journalist thing. The show's open for the response of the other party. Um, thank you. We appreciate thank it, ma'am. Yes, thank, thank you very much. So much, Dada. too. Thank you, Susan. Yeah. Thank you. Give your son a hug for us. All right. Okay, God bless. You too, Dita. Thank you very much. Bye-bye. Stop it, Mom. But I do appreciate the fact that she was clarifying certain facts. Yes. Saying there are two separate boys. Right, that there were two boys. Was and what? Honestly, I, I, I was expecting the poker's dad to be the, you know, the gunner dad. But either way, it was yeah. that part. Why? Because he pokes, yes. he pokes butt also. He yeah. does poke a gun, too. He really? must run in the family exactly. poker. That was exactly my <laughs> line of thought. <laughs> that was my line of thought. So That's sue true. me. Okay. <laughs> hey, it's um, really sad, though. Um, I, I'm, I am angry. I am. Well, let's say it's true. Let's okay. Allegedly, all right. Let's say allegedly? it's true. <laughs> it, nothing drives me crazier than a kid, a high school kid, who goes, "I'm going to shoot you, yeah, man. I'm going to kill you." No. Blah, blah, blah. Listen, if there is going to be a gun, it's not going to be you. You're going to be a pussy. You're going to order some like you know uh, black button wearing bodyguard. Uh, bodyguard over here to 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 do something about it. I You're mean, that dad. My God, how old are you? Let your son fight his own. Right. Girls. Right. But but see, yeah, exactly. it shouldn't even escalate. At the same time, it's like the, the kid, the kid mouthing off, saying, "Man, I'm going to shoot you." I'm gonna, it's like, please, what are you going to do? Hi. Yeah, you know what else we're going to do? Thank you so much. I'm really mad. Mm. <laughs> you guys need water? Do you need to cool down? Oh, yeah, we're going to hook you guys up with some prizes. <laughs> do you want to chill really out? I want water. I need some water. Damn guys, it. Relax. All right. Well, tell me, tell me. Yeah, I want to. How do I, how do I get some water? Oh, Come hey, on. You know what? Calling all the uh, runners and listeners if you want to join.